Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Kim's Dental Radiology channel. My goal is to make you become a better radiographic diagnostician. So today, I want to share something interesting that I don't normally see on a day-to-day -day basis, but I thought that you might find this interesting. So you're seeing a cropped image of panoramic radiograph, and I want you to pay close attention to tooth number 30. What you're seeing on tooth number 30 is that from the radiographic features, we can tell this tooth has some type of a full coverage coronal or crown restoration. And also this thin radial opacity that's do coming down along the roots and where we suspect the root canal to be, uh, we expect the patient or the tooth has had some type of a root canal therapy, right? And along with that, we see some scattered radio opacity, which may represent, again, filling material within the pulpal chamber or possibly restorative material either on the buccal surface or the lingual surface along the margin of the crown. So those are the things that we can see clearly. But what is it so striking about this tooth? Well, the answer is if you compare to the contra letter side, tooth number 19, it's pretty clear. This tooth has had an extensive resorption. Also, we are seeing periodontal bone loss as well involving the furcation. And all in, in a normal tooth, this may just be a furcational bone loss extending to the midroot level. Because of the extensive bone loss that we have, it's practically the bone loss is down to the uh, apex of the distal root. It would be nice to have a periapical radiograph of this. Uh, to see if whether it truly comes down to the apex, but nevertheless, it does appear to be uh, pretty close to the apex. So let me see if I can zoom in and to better visualize the area. And there you go, right? So furcational bone loss and just the level of uh, resorption is remarkable in contrast to the adjacent teeth. So here we have premolar, there's a molar, a second molar. We you know, we would expect the root length of this to be pretty close to the length of the second molar, but you see how short this is. Also, look at the uh, the bone that has um, replaced uh, where the uh, roots were originally. It has a normal bone density. Almost it looks more dense than the rest of the uh, body of the mandible. It's a dense and has that normal trabecular architecture that we see and the roots has been resorbed on an, and we see intact PDL space as best as I can tell. Let's go over to the other side. In this case what's happening is although we haven't had any major resorption per se but do you see that there's a periapical radiolucency and if we look to the distal root the PDL space appears slightly uh, widened and but this one for sure is periapical radiolucency again this tooth with large coronal restoration I would definitely recommend clinician or student doctor to percuss the tooth and do vitality testing if possible uh, I would pr presume that given the radiolucency that there's an um, active inflammation occurring here and that patient would respond sensitive to percussion as there may be inflammation involving the PDL space. So I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't done so already, please click the like button and subscribe so that you can continue to be alerted three times a week and to watch these educational videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Take care.